that is like here in the hometown? What's it like being a, a West Aussie with this international sporting event right here? You know, it's, it's special. There's so much excitement around, um, you know, obviously walking around with the games over in New Zealand and seeing so many Wallaby jerseys come out and couples with one Wallaby jersey, one Kiwi jersey. You know, it's a great rivalry. Um, we've had to wait a few extra weeks, but I just know there's so much excitement around this game. Two world-class teams at a world-class venue, which we now have in WA. You mentioned the rivalry. What does the delay, the couple of week delay, do for that rivalry? Um, I think it increases it. You know, I, I think the Wallaby boys were disappointed with that last game in, in New Zealand, and we're really keen to bounce back. And uh, we're probably a little bit frustrated that the game was put off, but. Um, yeah, I think that desire is just building to, to bounce back and make the fans proud. You mentioned obviously that the rivalry, was it, do the, do the players, can you take it personally? Do they need to harness it or look at it that way to say it was a lack of a respect that we'd gone over there, done the right thing by them, that put us on hold, that stood us up, so to speak, to I guess channel a little bit of that energy or frustration towards Sunday's game? I think so, you've got to be careful. Obviously, um, you don't want to be too emotional going into the game and um, the Wallaby boys obviously know there's a lot to work on. A young team really building, um, watching from the outside this season. It's been exciting to see that growth. Um, I thought that French series, a lot more resilience, a bit more consistency. Um, they fought back well in the first Bleslow and obviously just disappointed, uh, disappointed performance in the, the second one. Um, so they'll be working on different parts of their game to keep building. You know, it's not just this game, there's, there's a whole rugby championship coming up and a chance to take on the world champs in South Africa. So, um, but yeah, without a doubt, there'll be a little bit more to, to play for, um, having been put off for that extra couple of weeks. It's been, a, it's been a tough few years for rugby in WA, obviously the force situation and everything going on there. How important is it to get these big games in Perth? Oh, it's so important for, for rugby here. Um, th there's a great feel around rugby here, I think the force, um, coming back in, then having a, a much better season this year, playing the first finals. Um, there's just really real excitement around rugby here. I think the extra couple of weeks here with the Wallabies has, um, has helped rugby. You know, I think Rennie and the boys have done a great job going out to junior club rugby, to um, club rugby trainings, coaching the coaches. And um, I, I know in the community that's been uh, really appreciated and um, it's great for rugby here. I think it's a really exciting time for rugby over the next couple of years here in Perth and, and around Australia. Um, lack playing 80 minutes. Now, we all say from the outside, oh, they've got to play 80 minutes. How tough is it to actually apply yourself for 80 minutes when you're up against the, the greatness of the All Blacks? Oh, it's, it's very tough. Um, that's always a challenge. I think, uh, you know, in that second, in that last game, um, those two intercept tries really hurt. You know, Australia's on the front foot. Um, it's almost a 14 point swing, so um, it's a tough thing to do, but um, yeah, I think it's about building and just getting better each and every week. Quade Cooper, would you like to see him run out there on Sunday? Add some experience and leadership? Yeah, I would. I think um, he's one player that's never stopped learning. Um, he's getting better and better, and I know he, the players around him would be learning so much from him. Um, so it would be great to see him back out there. Um, and the home crowd here, um, obviously the, the two over there across the ditch, but coming home, 60,000 the last time the two sides yeah. met here, obviously it was a great result for Australia. So how much do the, will the boys draw upon that to, to obviously give them a bit of a boost? Oh, without a doubt, um, they'll take some confidence into that, um, knowing that how well they played last time here and, and how special a night that was. Um, obviously you're both wearing the, the Australia 2027 um, kid at the moment, um, Matt Dane, how important is it, big is it to try and bring that World Cup to Australia, especially the WA? Uh, I think like Dane said, um, bringing events like that to Australia, is, it's, it's pretty special to grow the game um, and then even more so to bring him to Perth um, as well to pack up off the stadium um, for multiple different games um, shows how important rugby and how strong rugby is in this state. Do you think rugby at the grassroots level took a little bit of a hit when the force had that pick up a few years ago and had that battle to try and stay alive? Do you think at the lower levels it took a hit and something like this could help rebuild it? Um, I don't think it took a hit. I think we we're one of the only um, states in, in um, Australia that actually drew, grew during the COVID period with participation. So we're putting uh, a lot of time and a lot of investment financially into grow that space. Um, but obviously, 
having the Wallabies here, um, having events like the World Cup here actually grows it um, even um, greater. So, yeah, obviously excited for that to happen and, and probably even look at the sport greater with women's sport and grow that as well. So try and look at it in both angles. Can you believe it's been almost it's been 18 years now since that 2003 final against England? Does it seem like a, a lifetime ago? Um, I probably can remember it. Dane probably wasn't born yet. Um, yeah, so no, it's pretty exciting to, to have moments like that. Um, t I think I got asked about Bledisloe moments, so remembering sitting at Opti um, Homebush Stadium with 110,000. So moments like that, as a young kid, edge in your mind forever, and that's why you, you pick up the ball and play the game. But I don't know anyone that's probably been more passionate about rugby, especially in this state. What, what is it about the sport and this state? That's so special for you, I guess, a, a build up and a lead into a game at off the stadium at 60 plus now. Um, rugby in general has given me everything that I, I've worked for and um, been able to achieve, travel the world, um, move to WA. It's given me those opportunities, uh, long life friends, um, business opportunities. So without rugby, I wouldn't have or wouldn't be here today. But then also, WA is the state that gave me the opportunity and welcomed me from day one. Um, I think it's taken 15 years to be called Western Australian, but I think I'm almost there now. So it's pretty exciting. Um, yes, the game on Sunday is exciting, but I get more excited by seeing the Wallabies out in the community. Um, so yes, it was disappointing not playing the game two weeks ago, but the amount of um, time the guys have put into club rugby, um, like Dane said, and coaching the coaches, that's more valuable for us um, and grows the game um, here. Um, so it's, it's pretty exciting to get those extra two weeks for the boys. So they've, they've been obviously at it numerous local clubs every single weekend. I mean, they, when you see these kids out there seeing their heroes, what do, what do you see in those kids, or maybe your, your memories, I guess, as well? Um, yeah, it's quite funny um, watching my boys go up to Filetti and, and Tong and Thor asking for autographs when you actually know them and stuff like that. But the excitement they get of getting that signed poster and, and putting it up on their wall and saying, Dad, I've met that player now, where in the last few years we haven't had that opportunity. So those moments um, will, will be etched in my boys' memories. Um, and that, that's just one or two of a thousand boys. But even seeing the senior grade, seeing Dave Rennie out there and, and Michael Hooper and the likes watching first grade, those players now see a pathway as well. Um, I can be an 18 year old boy playing Western Australian football to, for the Western Force and then to the Wallabies and they can see that now, so that's pretty exciting. And on 2027, I guess another sellout here, does it sort of show that the West is absolutely rugby mad and we can put on events if events do come? Yeah, I think um, through what you've seen through Rapid Rugby, um, through the Western Force, we do put on a good event. Um, and it's more than just the game of rugby, it's actually a spectacle um, and drawing people in that love the game, but also just love events. Um, so definitely you'll see 60,000 on Sunday, but at the World Cup, you'll see um, minor games, like tier three, tier four games, sell out at HBF and stuff like that. So that's pretty exciting as well to get in that opportunity. And for those out there who aren't, Rusted on rugby fans, how would you describe that All Blacks and Wallabies rivalry? Um, yeah, it's, it's like uh, one of the biggest rivalries in sport, um, one of the longest lasting and, and something that adds a, a little bit of extra spice. Um, you, can't, you compare it to the state of origin, um, AFL grand finals and stuff like that. So it's one of the biggest sporting events and to be able to host that at Optus um, is pretty special. And I think. Something unique is the Sunday afternoon game. Um, I think that's pretty special. You'll see a lot of running rugby, um, dry weather, and a great opportunity for families to come out because of the time slot. Oh, Joe, just uh, sorry, one from the police. Um, just with your work for the what your thoughts on the Super Rugby Pacific comp that's got another game to start the week? I think first thing, it's exciting to have something to plan for. Um, yeah, no, pretty exciting to, to bring in Fiji and, and Samoa. I think two teams like that um, are well deserved to be placed in, in our competition. Um, a 12 team competition is great. Uh, a simple format is pretty exciting. Um, and um, to be able to, to plan something for the next two years to have um, New Zealand teams, Australian teams, and, and Pacifica teams all play within Australia, New Zealand, and the Pacifica is pretty exciting for the game.